Hello children today you are going to learn about the impact of human actions on different ecosystems Let's see the negative human impact on the environment Human activities have affected the aquatic and forest ecosystems They have also affected the arctic and desert ecosystems One of these activities is deforestation which means clearing a wide area of trees. Human beings are cutting down trees for various reasons. The causes of deforestation are agriculture, overgrazing, development projects, fuel wood and industry. Mining also results in loss of biodiversity. Global warming is affecting the arctic ecosystem. Melting of glaciers is affecting the animal life in the arctic ecosystem. Construction and industrial activities also affect the ecosystem. Smoke from factories causes air pollution. Effects of industrialization on aquatic ecosystem. Discharge of domestic and industrial waste and chemicals cause water pollution. Oil spills from ships affects the aquatic ecosystem. Water pollution is very dangerous for aquatic animals. Oil spills have an adverse effect on aquatic animals. There are some threats to the desert ecosystem also, residential development Off-road recreational activities that destroy habitat for plants and animals and some plants are removed by collectors which endanger the population. Effect of human activities on desert ecosystem. Due to these activities animals are becoming endangered. Now let's see the positive human impact. cleaning of rivers cleaning of sea beaches creating awareness to stop the use of plastic restoration of wetlands restoration of habitats there are other restoration programs too it is important to maintain the balance in nature ways to maintain balance in nature are management of natural resources controlling population water protection and recycling Let's practice the 3 Rs: reduce, reuse, recycle. Conservation of forests. Forests can be conserved by afforestation, preventing or reducing deforestation, by setting up wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, biosphere reserves, etc., undertaking social forestry programs like Van Mahotsav, Chipko movement for planting and protecting trees on a large scale. Wildlife conservation means protecting wild species and their habitats to prevent their extinction. National parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been set up. Some of the wildlife national parks of India are
Project Tiger is a wildlife conservation movement initiated in India in 1972. The project aims at tiger conservation in specially constituted tiger reserves throughout India. So let's save animals lives and stop hunting. The government of India has enacted the law to protect plants and animals, the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. The World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th June every year for protection of the environment. Let us all contribute to protect animals and plants. Let us all make the earth smile. Let's save the earth. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video.